Okay, here we are. We just spun the blood sample and I'll show you these different layers. So the insert, which was pre-filled with the density gradient, you can see that actually separates the different parts of the blood that we want. So the red blood cells go to the bottom. This is the plasma and serum up top. And this clear layer in between is where our cells of interest lie. So everything else is waste, but we don't wanna risk, run the risk of coming too close to this. So here's what we do. We are gonna take our pipette and take off a little bit of this upper volume without disturbing that clear layer, okay? So we're gonna do that using the auto pipette. These long pipettes are called serological pipettes and they're located in that box right there at the end of the lab bench. So as a reminder, the upper button on the pipette sucks up and the lower button goes, uh, presses out. So right now we're sucking up and we wanna be really careful. So we're really only gonna take about, I would say about seven, six, seven mils off the top because we wanna get rid of some of this plasma, but we don't wanna disturb that clear layer. And we also don't ever want to overfill a serological pipette because you can ruin the pipetter itself. So if you look at the top of this pipette, there's a little filter if liquid goes past the filter, it will actually get into the pipette and ruin it. So we're gonna get rid of that. Okay, so that's fine. This I'm gonna end up discarding, so I'm just gonna put it over the waist. So now, what we can actually do is we can take the blue top, they're pre-labeled, so you wanna confirm you're using the right label. So it's the T equals three time point. They're lined up one behind the other, so it should be all right. And now what we're gonna do is actually just dump this whole thing into this pipette. Okay, here's the tough part though. We, we don't want anything below the insert to come with us and it won't as long as we flip this over and invert it pretty quickly. And I'll show you what can happen if you don't do that. So basically if you flip it over right away, the insert will block all the rest of it from coming. So we're gonna tilt and then flip straight up and down. Okay, so here's what can happen. So that's great. I'm just gonna show you quickly what can happen if you accidentally hold it sideways for too long. So right now, if I just flip it, there's no movement, right? As soon as I start to hold it off to the side, you can see the blood start to come and it starts to leak out. So that's what we wanna avoid. But you can see you have a lot of leeway until that happens. Okay, this is now garbage. Okay, now remember that clear layer plus a little bit of plasma is in here. It's right at about 13 mils. This part doesn't really matter because you can't really overwash cells. So what we're doing right now is washing. So you're gonna take again that PBS and you're just gonna fill up to the top of the tube to that 14. Again, you don't wanna, obviously you don't wanna overfill it, but it doesn't have to be totally exact because right now you're just washing. Okay, so we're inverting. Now we're gonna go over to the centrifuge and we are gonna change the speed. So this is the only time you're gonna change the centrifuge. 